Okay, we are now doing lesson 8.7 on page 341. It's called use place value to add. This is another strategy to add double digit numbers. And we've been doing some using place value to add. We've talked about place value strategy already and we've been doing this. So this is a way for us to have extra practice in that area. All right, so listen to our story and we're gonna go ahead and draw a picture, tens and ones on each side here. So Cameron has 30 shiny pennies and 25 dull pennies. How many pennies does Cameron have? All right, so let's write our numbers just so we know. We have 30, okay, and then we have 25, and we wanna know how many all together. So we're actually doing 30 plus 25. So let's start with drawing a picture for 30, all right? And what we can do is how many tens are in 30? Three, okay, so three tens, right, or and how many ones in 30? Zero ones, okay, no ones. And 25 is two tens, and how many ones? Five. Okay, so like in, um, we've talked about already with place value strategy, you're gonna add your ones first, and then you're gonna add your tens. So this is our line here. So zero ones, plus five ones. Let's add these two together first. What is zero plus five? You can see the picture. Zero plus five is what? Yeah, it's five. Okay, anything plus zero is still itself. Now let's go to the ones. Three tens and two tens is how many tens? Three, four, five. Five tens. So five tens and five ones is what number? Yeah, 55. Good job. That's all we're doing. And that's kind of what we've been doing before. So it's good review. All right, so here we go. How can you use tens and ones to add? So here's the pictures like what we just did. 35 is three tens and five ones. 38 is three tens and eight ones. So what you've had to do here is you've had to make a new 10. Here's a new 10, okay? And then you add them together. So I have how many tens all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tens, and one, two, three ones. Now this is in case you have more ones and you have enough to make a new 10, you have to kind of move that 10 over here. So this is no longer six tens, this becomes seven tens or 73, okay? Six tens and 13 ones, you can move that 10 over, okay? to make it 60 plus 13 or 60, 73, okay? Let's do some more practice down here. Okay, so 81 is eight tens and one one, and 14 is one 10 and four ones. Okay, there's a lot of steps over here. Do not worry about that. I just want you to be able to get this strategy. So draw your line. One one plus four ones is five ones. Eight ones plus one one is nine ones. So, I mean, sorry, eight tens and one ten is nine tens. So nine tens and five ones is 95. So 81 plus 14 is 95. All right, let's do some more. All right, we have 43 and 37. So start with 43, four tens and three ones, and then go 37, which is three tens and seven ones. All right, let's add them up. So seven plus three is 10. So we have a new 10, don't we? So if we have a new 10, that new 10 is gonna go over here. I'm gonna put it up here. So I have zero ones and one 10 because my number is 10. Then I have four, five, six, seven tens plus this one, I don't wanna forget it, is eight tens. So 43 plus 37 is 80. Okay, because it was 10, and I moved the 10 over to the other side. It's the same as saying seven tens and 10 ones is 70 plus 10. And if I had 70 and I did 10 more, I would be 80, right? 10 more. All right, 62 and 23. 62 is six tens and two ones, and 23 is two tens and three ones. All right, 
Let's add our ones first. Two and three is five ones. Six and two is eight tens. So 62 and 23 is 85. Okay, so here we go. We're breaking this down. This is kind of similar to what we did the other day where they've got all these steps in the chart. And you know what? We're just not gonna do it because I don't wanna over confuse you. This is a little bit difficult to teach virtually. So let's just go straight to our review. Draw a quick picture to solve. Kim has 24 marbles. Al has 47 marbles. How many marbles do they have? Circle the numbers you're adding. You're adding 24 and 47. Let's put them on our tens and ones chart. Start with 24. Two tens, four ones, and then go to 47. Four tens and seven ones. All right, so we're gonna end up with seven plus four, which is 11. So we have 11 ones. And two and four is six tens. All right, so notice we have an extra 10 here, okay? So six tens is 60, and then an extra 10 would be 70, and then one is 71, so 71 marbles. Okay, choose two add-ins from 11 to 49, Draw them, add in any order to solve. Okay, we're not gonna go into the go deeper. You can cross that out. Let's just come down here and solve. So here we go. What is our number? Let's draw a line across like they were doing first so we can keep track of them. So what number is this first one? I have one, two, three, four, five tens and two ones. What number is five tens and two ones? Yeah, 52. Okay, and then what number is one ten and one, two, three, four, five ones? One ten and five ones is what number? One ten and five ones is 15. So now we're gonna add them together. Okay, so how many ones do we have first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. And then how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six tens. So our answer is six tens and seven ones or 67. Okay, so today, remember, we're not doing this during independent work anymore. We're doing it now where you can ask me questions. If we're getting harder, things are getting more complicated. I am here to actually work with you on any problems you may have. So what I want you to do is I want you to add the numbers together. You can use the chart to help work them out and then put your totals here. You do not have to do this, these parts here. You just have to get your total, okay? If you have questions and you'd like me to work with you, just raise your hand and I can go through them with you. Same thing with this problem here. All right, so there's this page. When you're done with this page, I want you to turn it and we will work on this page. Again, if you have questions or you need any help, raise your hand and tell me which number you're having problems with and I will work through it. When you are finished with the pages, let me know. I'll have you show me your work and then we'll go from there. Good job.